Good morning. I'm reading from the book of First John chapter 4 and verse number 19 in the NIV. We love because he first loved us. Hallelujah. Your first purpose, which had discovered every other purpose, is to know that God created you to love you. Yeah. I want you to get that into you. So, the first enjoyment, understanding of purpose on earth is to understand that the purpose why I'm created is to be loved. God sees you as a lover before you even came to the planet earth. He allowed you to come in order to show you his love. No, he's not, I'm not talking about you loving him, but I'm talking about him loving you. Understanding this, this at the back of your mind will make you understand how important you are, how important your destiny is to God, how important your head is to God, why God will not allow your enemy to destroy you. God did not create you to be hated. He didn't create you in order for more enemies to gather around you and make your life miserable. He didn't create you for sickness. He created you to be loved. And that at the back of your mind will defeat every thought of depression, every thought of confusion, every thought of maybe I'm in an entity, maybe I'm just here by accident, I'm a victim of circumstances. The devil is a liar. That's what the devil wants you to think. But what God wants you to think is to understand that you're here to enjoy God's love. Reckless love, endless love. It, 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 the kind of love that you can't get from any other place. And the more of that other understanding you are, the more you are moving very close into understanding the other purpose of God for your life. The first purpose of God is to love you. And then your purpose is inside the first purpose. That's why it says, seek first the kingdom. Seek first my love for you. Seek first the reason why I died and ran and resurrected. For God so loved the world, that is the first purpose why God created you. God so loved, it is that so much love that made him give Jesus out in your place to die for you and to save you eternally. I want you to feel love. That's what God wants you to feel. God wants you to feel love. He wants you to see yourself as the lover of God. Just the way a relationship um, a system, uh, a lady who feel love begin to, even when nobody is there, she's laughing. When nobody is even talking to her, she's on top of her wall like a teenager, exactly. God will want you to feel like a teenager is the number one purpose why you are here on earth. So if you are asking yourself, why am I here? You are here to be loved. You are here to be careful. You are here to enjoy, to be pampered. And that understanding will make you live a peaceful life. That's the peace that passes to understanding. The devil will even be frustrated because you have a good attitude, understanding that you are not here because of him, you are here because God, your lover, kept you here in order to enjoy his love. We are here to enjoy life. We are here to enjoy the grace of God upon our life. And I want to say congratulations to you as you listen to me this morning because you are God's lover. God loves you recklessly and God wants you to feel that love in the core of your heart. If you have a situation that makes you cry, I want you to shift your mind. Have a mind shift to begin to see yourself as God's lover. He has a plan and purpose for your life. He wants to show you his love, not on until you begin to appreciate him for the love he has shown you in the past. I want you to please write under this video, I am God's lover and I will enjoy God's love. I'm created to be loved. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Amen.